All right, Keith, we were talking about it earlier this day. Didn't know what it wanted to be, but hopefully no. we'll we'll get to the other side of it soon. Yeah, um, <laughs> actually, like if we can look outside of Portland again. So we showed you the showers on High Street just a moment ago, and um, now it's sunny. So yeah, it's it's that, weird. That's the kind of day it's been, um, <laughs> all over the place. And I think this, even this little patch of sun, isn't necessarily the end of of it. We're not going to see any more rain, I don't think, in the Portland area, but I'll show you the satellite in a minute. So we've been back and forth, fits and starts here. The shower activity is still more consistent over down east and northern Maine, where there's some snow into the Presque Isle area, too. Temperatures just cold enough to support that. I'd love to know whether or not it's actually sticking at all. Probably isn't, based on the surface temperatures. But yeah, three little spots of sun. One, two, and then the third one coming out of New Hampshire. Three. And so that's where a lot of the sun has been in southern and western Maine. The rest of us have been pretty clouded up all day today. We clear out over the next few hours. Temperatures drop. It's pretty chilly tonight into the 20s, even over the southern coastline and down east Maine. 20 or so, even some upper teens in a place like Rangeley. Average low is 38. So this is pretty chilly stuff coming in later on tonight, early tomorrow morning. Only a few hours spent at that temperature but still worth noting. Tomorrow, the sun, full strength. However, we struggle in the upper 40s to around 50 in the mountains, closer to 40 degrees for a high temperature. So it maybe looks nicer than it is outside tomorrow. And then we keep that vibe going on Friday, the sun, but it's more pleasant temperature-wise into the mid 50s on uh, Friday afternoon. A really nice day there. And I think Saturday looks good too. Upper 50s and some low 60s. So we rip off a couple of the really nice days here leading into and including the first half of the weekend. We'll talk about Sunday in just a minute. So chilly air doesn't last long tomorrow. That has to do with being on the east side of this ridge. So we get a north wind. That's kind of a chilly wind direction for us. But then once the high moves to a neutral position, we get warmer Friday and Saturday. And again, we were talking about this front on Sunday, but it looks like the front will stay just to our west. It's very, very close. But I would say the trend has been in our favor. It's started to look less showery. So here we are Sunday morning, some showers into New Hampshire. Can't rule out one or two sneaking into Oxford, York, Cumberland County in the morning, but I think by and large it's a dry day on Sunday and just more cloud cover compared to Saturday. We try to warm up a bit on Monday and then some showers come through into the middle of the week. So these temperatures that you see here, I'd say from Monday through Wednesday are on the cooler side of the computer model guidance, thinking that we're going to struggle a little with cloud cover. Um, but if we don't, we'll be warmer than that. So we'll keep an eye. I think that's especially true Monday, where if we don't see much cloud cover, we could be 70. So that would be nice. In the meantime, enjoy the sun. Thursday looks good Friday and uh, Saturday, too. It's interesting watching how quickly things kind of spring to life and you find yourself caught between seasons where like I had a shovel sitting in a flower bed and, the fl yep. and like the flowers are starting to come up. I'm like, yep. okay, I guess I'll put this away. And you know, that's, that's just a sign of the, of the time here. It's a process. Yeah. All right, thanks.